Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we'll be designing my faith planner for the month of November. We'll be setting up all my monthly and weekly pages in a Thanksgiving theme, so come plan with me. And I've got some washi tapes here ready to go, along with this roll of PET tape stickers, some loose paper in a antique theme, I've got some calligraphy ink and a brush, these die cut leaf stickers, this happy planner sticker book, and this sheet of quotes I made on my computer. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the week designs first, and I'll talk a little bit about what I'll be using this month. I have pulled out some of these really pretty paper leaf stickers that are die cut. I got those at Journal Say, really great find. They have some gold flecks inside of each of them, so it has a little bit of a metallic factor to it. I'll see how much I can bring that in just so that it all feels cohesive. I also pulled out this antique book paper that is obviously not really antique, but is made to look vintage. So I put that in and just added a little corner there to see how I like that. I'll be decorating all the weeks all at once here on this one spread as I just decorate that top left corner on each of the weeks. I made sure to count <laughs> and there are four weeks in this month so we'll be using four of those squares to mock up each week. So you can see I have a big sheet of quotes here. I really just looked through all of my sticker stash and had a real hard time finding faith quotes that I thought would work. Either they were too small or they had more brighter colors, not really giving me fall feels. I even went to Hobby Lobby and checked and I just didn't see anything that I hadn't seen before. So I decided last minute to go ahead and just make some of my own. I did a little bit of research early on just to kind of get an idea of some quotes I might want to use that are faith-based but also have to do with Thanksgiving and uh, I found a few but some of them were a little too long so I used bits and pieces of them and then I also added a few just simple words to add a little bit of something different. I've pulled that together and I thought about giving this away as a freebie. If you guys are interested let me know in the comments below and if I do have enough interest, I'll go ahead and give it to you guys as a freebie. I just, like I said, threw it together, so it's not like perfect, perfect, but I went ahead and just printed it on some label paper that I had in my stash, some clear label paper, and then cut it out with my precision cutter so that I could kind of peel it off the backing. And that worked out pretty well for the most part. I did have to go back and clean up some of my cuts and to get some of the stickers off because they didn't push hard enough. But for the most part, that was a pretty simple fix to just hand cut out the quotes. It didn't take me long at all. So I've got those in. I've also added a piece uh, or a quarter of that antique book paper along with a leaf on each of the weekly setups. So. We've got a theme going. I am now going to put in some of this PET tape that I pulled. This was a last minute addition, but I felt like I was going to need some added, just like details, smaller things to help really make this a little more interesting. You can see that the leaves, quotes, and the book paper is enough you could get away with of just doing a theme with those simple three items but the addition of the washi tape and these little vignettes of wild forest <laughs> i don't know what you call those wild forest 
foliage, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, or fauna, um, that really just ups the detail factor and makes everything look a little more interesting, if you know what I mean. The little bit of pattern, also pulling in the same colors that you're seeing in the quotes and in the browns and the, the warm tones really kind of gets amplified with the addition of the PET tape. So even though it's not the perfect fit, it's got more of a natural woodland vibe to it, not really super focused in on Thanksgiving. I think it was a good addition to the spreads, mainly for that color and detail that it adds. I've really used a lot of my fall stickers and so I was thinking to actually add in some fall florals but I have zero florals in any warm tones in my stash. I must have either used them or just didn't really get enough in the past to warrant a full set of them being left over. But I think like I said that the PET tape was a good addition and actually probably worked out better because of that detail factor. I'm working these out. I'm getting pretty close here to some final clusters. Just peeling off the backings of some of these stickers and figuring out how they're going to lay in. The quotes are dark enough so that I can layer them on top of the paper stickers and they still show through, although it's not perfect in some aspects depending on the color of the leaf, but I, I did do some layering there in the bottom right side and I think that that one actually turned out pretty good. Same with the bottom left. You can see how they layer on top of each other, but maybe when the colors are a little closer, it gets harder to read. So just something to think about when you are layering stickers, you want enough contrast so that you can still either see the detail of whatever it is you're layering over top, you know, that it's enough to stand out amongst the background. So we're going to go ahead and start moving things over. I'll go ahead and put in this first week. Decided to trim off that little bit of excess just so I had a nice clean line at the bottom. And we will move on to the next one. This should go pretty fast. I did pull out my sticker spatula because all of the hand cutting that I did left a raised edge on the quote stickers, but my sticker spatula takes care of that really easily. It's a handy tool. I've also used just like the tip of my precision cutter in the past before I had the spatula, and that works good too. Um, I've seen people use a bone folder, uh, anything that has a nice flat edge but isn't super sharp so that you can set down your stickers and get rid of any air bubbles or anything that's behind and in my case clean up those edges that may be a little bit raised from hand cutting. I'm also gluing down the paper as I go so I tend to do the following. I will put in the stickers first and let the paper just be loose and then once everything is kind of settled in with the stickers and then I'll go back and glue in the paper. That I just feel makes it the easiest to prevent errors. <laughs> Whether you stick down the paper maybe too early and then don't layer it the way you had it before or just making sure things are aligned properly before you commit. That's a pretty solid way of doing it by waiting till the end when everything's placed before gluing. This 
So we are on to the very final week here, and I'm just going to drop in this quote, trim off a little bit of this excess going into the Monday slot, just so I have as much room as possible, but I did leave a little bit of the leaf on top for a little extra something there. You know, we were trimming off the edges as we go as well. And I'm adding a little bit more glue where I feel like there is a need. And now we are on to the monthly. I have an idea of how I'm going to use it. Since it is kind of a Thanksgiving theme, even though Thanksgiving's at the end of the month, but I wasn't thinking traditional Thanksgiving, kind of seasonal, iconic Thanksgiving. I was thinking more faith-based Thanksgiving with my design. So you're not really seeing any, you know, turkeys or anything like that. You're seeing more simplified, thankful, grateful, blessed type stuff. I thought it would be kind of cute to layer in this thankful, but split it so that it can go across those empty days at the top. So we'll start with that. I've also added in this longer quote that I created specifically for the sidebar because I knew I would need something that was a little bit more narrow. And I dropped that in. And now we'll just start working in some of those other elements like the PET tape and the antique paper. This PET tape I got from the washi tape shop and it is pretty cool. I actually really like it a lot. It's very unique. <laughs> I, I wouldn't see myself using this all the time, but I feel like fall is a great time to bring this out and also spring uh the there's a mix of colors and things on that tape that really work well in either season and the great thing about pet tape is that it lasts forever <laughs> usually there is a number of patterns or elements that are repeated multiple times within a roll so you can usually make it go a long way. If you are new to planning and decorating your planner creatively, uh, PET tape is a really good way to go, especially if you saw one that you really like that you can see yourself using over and over again. That's the only downside to it is that you know it is repeating, so you're seeing the same things eventually over and over again. But if you like something, I think it's a real value add to grab some PET tape and start planning, especially if you are on a budget, because it will go a long way. So I've already removed the thankful quote at the top because I liked it, but it wasn't really allowing me to fit in the leaves that I wanted to here at the top. So I went back and replaced it with some of the smaller word quotes. We'll see if we can make this work a little better. I brought out the word blessed. And family. They don't quite go together. I mean, yes, but... You know what I mean? Like, I was trying to think of something that would be a good match together and be the right size as well. So we'll see what I land on. I also have this little additional leaf that I'm going to try to sneak in this corner. I use all of the monthly days functionally, so I don't want anything to really be in that space decor-wise if I can avoid it. A little bit of washi or something isn't really a big deal, but like anything that takes up way too much room or, you know, more than say a third of the box is going to be a problem. So I usually plan my decor 
around the boxes. And that said, I think we're ready to go ahead and move over some of these items. And I'll start here in this bottom corner. Sometimes when I'm shifting things from the wax paper to the page, I need to make some adjustments. Sometimes things touch down too fast. That happens a lot. I hate that. Although the label stickers that I made and the PET tape stickers come up pretty well until I use my sticker spatula because then once I use my sticker spatula to like kind of cement them down they don't like to move. The PET tape stickers still do but the label paper ones were a little bit more finicky on that. But yeah so sometimes things stick down before I'm ready or the way I set something down isn't exactly how I did it on the wax paper and so then I'll need to adjust these stickers around. So it's still fluid when I do the transfer but it is nice to have that wax paper there to guide me before I make any firm commitments on the page. It's just the way I like to work. I know for some people that's a lot to do it you know both on the wax paper and then shift it to the page but Again, I find it worth it so that I can get pretty much how I want it without having to pick up stickers over and over again and potentially ripping paper, that kind of thing. So as I was talking, there was a few things that happened. I whited out the lines between the empty days so that I could drop in the quotes on a clean background. And I decided to go with family, then gather, whereas before I had gather, then family. I'm not sure why. At the time, I thought that sounded better, but now that I say it out loud, I don't know if that was. <laughs> I also used some of the trimmings of the leaves on the upper left just to kind of fill out that corner a little bit more. I think that's going to wrap up the monthly. We've got... One more spread here, plus the back page to do. This first spread is my faith overview spread from my Etsy shop. It's very faith-based. It's got a space for a prayer list and um, some curly items that are about faith. So if you're looking for a little bit of an enhancement to your faith planner, you might take a look at that and see if that would work for you. I've been loving it for using it this year, and uh, it just gives me a good spot to, again, have my prayer list, track my habits, and also check in spiritually every month. So on the back page, that's just the, the month end notes page from my shop. That I decided to do a gratitude challenge this month. So I've kind of penciled it in there and we'll fill it out at the very end of the video. So I'm just working around that and bringing in some, again, decor to finish out the theme for the month. I've already brought in the quotes that I have left over. Definitely wanted that grateful on the back to go with the gratitude challenge. So that left me with thankful, blessed, and give thanks to the Lord for his good for the dashboard faith overview pages and now i'm just kind of figuring out how they'll sit on the page and what elements i can bring in as far as the leaves and the washi and the paper all that good stuff i'm working things out Also want to bring in, of course, some of that PET tape. Reiterating those same elements on all the pages to create that cohesive theme. This one was a little tricky to fit in there, but I think I got a good spot for that. Don't want to forget the layered gold striped washi. That gold washi is really there to help bring in more of the gold. Because like I said, those leaves have a gold speckle on them. I 
had planned to add in even more gold speckle with the calligraphy ink that I showed in the very beginning. However, that stuff takes a little while to dry. And for some reason, this layout took a long time to set up. I don't know if it was just, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know why, but it did. So I kind of just foregoed the calligraphy ink in the end because I just didn't want to add that extra time and then the wait time for it to dry and all that good stuff. But that would be a nice little addition as well. I do think that the detail of the PET tape really helps make it not as a much of a necessity to bring in that calligraphy ink as it would have without it because of that added detail. Um, that's what I was thinking at the time is the, the texture and the detail adding that in with the calligraphy ink. But with this PET tape, I think I can kind of get away without doing that. Just try to fit in a little bit more of this PET tape. I didn't want it just floating in space. I did want it to relate to these other clusters that I made. So I decided to cut one in half and use it on the edges. I think that works, not being too overwhelming, but brings in a little more of the texture that I wanted. So we're moving on to bringing these last clusters down onto the page. Did have a little bit of an adjustment that I made here. It turned out well. I just kind of moved that blessed into the spine a little bit more than it was on the wax paper, but nothing's getting cut off, so we'll just leave it as is. Go ahead and glue down those papers as I go. And I lost just a smidgen of footage there. My battery actually died. That's how long it took me. Um, usually I can get through these videos without my battery dying, but not this one. I don't know if there was maybe not as much juice in that battery to start with, but yeah. So side note, uh, but I caught it. I was kind of watching it and, and waiting for it to die on me <laughs> before I move forward. And uh, yeah, like I said, I caught it pretty much right when it happened. So basically I'm just moving those things over and right now I am cleaning up the edges of this thankful quote because I've moved it around quite a few times and I also didn't do a very good job with the cutting originally on the quote itself. So just trying to make those edges a little bit cleaner. And then we will move on to this other corner Blew everything down. This one went pretty smooth. I have a little bit of the quote on top of the leaf and again you can kind of see how it can get lost. I think there's enough contrast to make it passable but I wouldn't want to go any lighter than this as far as the color of the text. So just a tip if you are layering you do want to have that contrast. let's go ahead and lay in this final set of stickers on the back page. Again, this should go pretty smooth. Some of the corners of the paper needed trimming throughout. So as I was going, I was cleaning up any kind of blunt quarters that I didn't quite rip to a more natural edge. And of course, I am doing the trimming. You can see there are a few holes there that are going to be covered up by that cardstock that will need to be cleaned out. So we'll do that really quick. Decided to pull out my We Are Memory Keepers Power Punch for this because I'm using cardstock. I think it's a little bit thicker and will punch through. And then there's another set of holes that are basically in the same area that were from clear stickers. So I thought if I grouped these pages together, I could get a clean punch. And for the most part, that worked out really nicely. 
You did have to clean up the stem of one of the holes, but for the most part, it was good. My punch is a little bit dull, so I don't expect miracles out of it, seeing as I've used it for all the things and haven't really found a successful sharpening situation just yet for it. And I forgot to pull out some brush markers for the lettering that I'll be doing on the quadrant layout. So I just went ahead and figured out a couple of colors I think will match well with this theme. Got a real warm, almost burnt yellow color and a deep red that really matches well with the colors of the quotes. So I'll be using those throughout the month for the lettering and then I'll add a bit more in here as well just to highlight those colors in and around each spread. And the monthly, I'm using those lines to track my reading each day. I do a daily Bible reading. So I'll write the quotes above and then in the monthly boxes, that is where I do what I call the takeaway, which is basically just some kind of a lesson that I learned from that Bible reading that I did. And finally, we will fill in this gratitude challenge on the back. I wasn't real sure how I wanted to do this. I pulled out my Tombow Furunosuke brush pen, which I use pretty much every day for lettering, and it is drying out, so I need to replace it with a fresh one. But since I didn't have one on hand, I went ahead and just deepened the black areas with my fine liner. And then I used the red brush tip pen to write in challenge. I'll also use my fine liner to pin in now the challenge prompts for each day. There are 30 days in the month, so there are 30 prompts. And this I got from a super old challenge from like 2020. You can just kind of take a look and see if this would work for you or do something similar, but maybe not exactly the same. I'm just writing in the various prompts there and we'll erase any pencil marks from behind. And that should do it for us, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also to go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.